Hey everyone, how's it going? So, today's video I wanted to make it a little more fun and a little less serious, and but also a little bit informative, so uh, obviously by the title you can tell that this video is the 10 people that you will meet in your freshman dorm. So it's going to be, you know, a little lighthearted, it's not going to be serious, but obviously these these stereotypes do often come true when staying in your first year dorm. You obviously will probably think if you've if you're already uh, past your your first year in the dorms, you can probably relate to a lot of these these people and uh, kind of you know apply it to your own situation and say, oh yeah, that guy was definitely this person. So, uh, and if you are just going into your first year, uh, be prepared to meet these people. So let's go ahead and get into it. So one of the people that you'll meet in your dorm for your first year will definitely be the note writer. So this person is, you know, the person that goes around your floor on your dorm room leaving sticky notes on everybody's uh, on everybody's doors and on their message boards and, you know, kind of doing it anonymously so people don't know who it is. So, you know, eventually you're going to get frustrated with this. There's going to be notes all over the place. You're going to not know who did it. Uh, you know, there's going to be little messages written on your, on your board, on your door, you know, saying, have a great day in class and, you know, just really really silly things, uh, and you know, it can it can be fun at first, but it gets a little bit annoying after a while, uh, especially if you don't know who it is, but most of the time, uh, people do tend to figure out who the uh, famous note writer is on your floor, and you know, they eventually get caught. So. so the next person you will meet in your freshman dorm is the singer. So the singer is somebody that's most likely music inclined, uh, but sometimes they are not. Uh, and, you know, they will be the person in your hallway. Uh, every time you walk by the door, an instrument is playing, they're belting out, you know, Mariah Carey, uh, you know, or they're screaming some death metal music. Uh, whatever, whatever it may be, you'll obviously encounter the musical room on your floor. So, just be prepared, you know, if you find that you are interrupted by that, I probably suggest that you invest in some earplugs uh, because they don't really care as long as, you know, they're having a good time. So, definitely watch out for the singer. So the next person you'll meet in your freshman dorm is the mooch or the moocher. So if you don't know what a mooch is, that's just somebody that is always looking for something for free. They're always, you know, bumming things off you. They're always borrowing things, but, you know, not really returning, returning them. So you'll obviously meet these people in your freshman dorm, and a lot of the time it will most likely be over food. So in your when when you're in the dorms, you know you're not you don't have a lot of access to food. You probably have some non-perishable things like granola bars, and you have popcorn, and you have you know canned canned food that you cook in the microwave, and things like that, chips, uh, cookies, everything like that. So you know a lot of the times people will be you know walking around the halls, you know going to their friends' room, seeing what they can find, what they can find to eat. I guess. Uh, is most likely uh, what's going to happen to you. But obviously there's other things, you know, a lot of girls share, um, you know, clothes and, and, you know, like curling irons and things like that. And they're always, you know, back and forth, back and forth, borrowing things and stuff like that. So you're obviously going to encounter somebody that will probably just walk into your room and raid your fridge. So the next person you will meet in your freshman dorm are the smokers. So you probably won't see the smokers that often, and when you do see them, they're either coming down the stairs when you're going up, you know, bundled in their wintered coats with their cigarettes in hand, ready to go outside and have a drag. So, you know, you probably won't see these guys too often. They, they kind of keep to themselves, uh, and they tend to... Uh, go out in groups, and the only time, you know, you're obviously there's not going to be people smoking in dorm rooms, but the time that you do smell it is, you know, after they come in and you just go up the elevator behind them, and that whole elevator smells like a smoke shop. So, just be prepared uh, when you meet the smokers. So the next people you will meet in your freshman dorm are the couple. So, you know, the couple obviously is 
pretty, you know, self-explanatory. It's, you know, the the couple, the people in the relationship that are inseparable, they do everything together, you know, you go over to their room, they're always together. Those two people, you know, they spend one night in their room, one night in the other person's room. They're always together. Um, you go down to the meal hall, and they're sitting alone, the couple, you know, just eating those two people. You see them walking to class with each other. Um, you know, it's it's kind of funny to see, actually. Um, but, you know, these will, these will be some people that you'll encounter, and, you know, you probably, uh, if you do have a relationship in university, if you meet somebody there, obviously you will turn into the couple eventually, but it's just pretty funny to watch sometimes, just to see, you know, the stereo stereotypical things that they do, you know, going to lunch together, walking to class together, always, you know, s like, stuck to the hip kind of thing, so it's just really funny to see. So that is the couple. So the next person or type of people that you will meet in your freshman dorm is the quiet ones or, you know, the, the studious ones. So most most of the time that kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, so, you know, this was kind of me for the first little bit. I was quiet and, you know, I stuck to my books and I studied all the time and everything like that. But, you know, the quiet ones and the, the people, you know, that are hardcore, um, you know, students through the week, they like to have a good time on the weekends. So you will notice that, you know, the quiet ones aren't so quiet on the weekends. So then the next person that you will meet, um, I like to call this person, you know, the, the floor spy or, you know, the girl that you think is a spy or, you know, sometimes you'll nickname them James Bond. It's basically that girl or that guy that you'd never see, and the only time you see them is when, you know, they're darting out of their room, dressed in all black, and, you know, they look, they look like they're on a mission, and they're, and they're ready to, you know, kill someone, so, <laughs> I, not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, so, on my floor, um, there was this girl that I never saw, she was, um, like an older, mature student, probably third or fourth year, um, and the only time I would see her when is when she would come out of her room. Uh, she'd be, you know, dressed in like a leather coat, and she'd have like the the big black boots on, and she'd just be, you know, darting for the door and or the elevator. So it's just kind of funny. Uh, me and my me and my friends nicknamed her Catwoman. <laughs> Um, just because, you know, she was so stealth and nobody ever saw her, uh, other than when she was all dressed up and heading out the door. So then you have the liquor bottle guy or girl. So these people are just the people that like to save all of their bottles and their cans of everything that they drank that semester or that year at university or college. You know, they think it's a, a big accomplishment to you know, drink 10 quarts of, of vodka in a semester, stuff like that. So, you know, just kind of be aware and just kind of remember in your head um, watching this video and sometime if you walk into somebody's room and, and they have, um, you know, glass bottles all stacked up in their kitchen on top of their cupboards and all over their table and just remember this video. So there's also the um, rich international kid or kids that you will meet in your dorm. So, you know, there was a few in our dorm. Uh, most of the time they're from different countries. I think this guy was from Dubai or some um, Middle East country. Uh, anyways, um, you know, you'll encounter some people that do have a lot of money and, you know, they dress really well. And they don't have a lot of friends at first, you know, because most of their life they've been kind of, you know, kind of the, the attention has been focused on them, so they don't really know how to focus the attention on anybody else. So, you know, that's just the stereotype. That's not, I'm not saying that every, you know, person that has money is like that. But, you know, for the first little bit, they'll kind of be like the person that's talked about, you know, the those people will, will whisper at the at the table in the in the meal hall the cafeteria and say oh did you did you see this guy like you know he's from wherever and he's a prince or you know his his dad is is a lord or his dad is you know like a you know some high up um 
uh, kind of title in in their country. So you'll encounter a few people. Um, you know, there was another guy in our dorm. Um, his parents, you know, would buy him a house to stay in uh, when he was here uh, for university and you know they'd go away on all these trips and he'd have this huge house to himself and and they'd buy him all these cars and he had all these nice clothes uh, he always had you know the best things so you'll encounter a, a few you know the rich international kids so the last person that you will meet in your college dorm is yourself so I didn't know if I wanted to go you know the route of making this, you know, uh, a very serious video and saying, you know, like you'll find yourself in college and, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of meet yourself and you'll, you'll, you'll kind of find yourself kind of thing. So I didn't know if I wanted to be all inspirational or if I just wanted to be more literal. So, you know, you know, finding yourself, you know, mentally and things like that, um, is great in college, you know, but most of, most likely you will probably meet yourself once or twice uh, when, you know, you're introducing yourself to yourself in the bathroom mirror after too many tequila shots. So that is just what I wanted to say on that. Um, you know, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to make it a little less serious. There are, you know, a few serious things in there, obviously, but I just wanted to make it a little more fun and kind of make you know, light of uh, the people that you will meet if you're kind of nervous about uh, meeting people in your dorm room. So, you know, when you see somebody, kind of think of this video in your head and maybe it will help you make more friends uh, and or have, have uh, some things to talk about with your friends. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.